Hi everybody, it's Nancy and I've got some happy mail and one of my orders came in and this is my second time recording because I'm a doofus <laughs> and I didn't do it right. Again, I didn't do it right. So, uh, I'm sorry about the shadows, but it's dark. Wait, let me see. If I put this light on, is it better? Is that better? No, no, it's not better. Okay, Donna Gonzalez. What a sweetie she is. And that's also her YouTube channel. But I will link her channel down there. She sent me a rack today. And of course, it's all opened. I opened it on the video, but it didn't record and I wanted to show you how sweet in every package all these I have a bunch of them but all these little butterflies fell out when you opened a package what a sweet idea so see when I opened this the butterflies fell out and like I opened this the butterflies fell out and stuff it was so super sweet and Donna I'm keeping every one of these and I'm using them and she sent me this die cut which is, I don't know if it's a die cut or a, or a punch, but it's fabulous, isn't it? And it's on glitter paper, so I have to really do nothing to it. Thank you, Donna, sweetie. But I love her card. By the way, I made a New Year's resolution that I am going to learn how to color stamps. And I'm going to learn how to make card. I am the worst at it. But I'm going to learn this year. And if it doesn't work, it doesn't work. But I'm going to give it a try. But look at her cute, adorable card. Is that not cute? And I have a recipe inside. And look at these little tiny jars. I mean, mason jars. Is that smaller than the punch we have? I don't know, but these seem smaller to me. I'll have to look at my punch. And uh, there is the sweetest little thing in there. There is the baked potato, sweet baked potato wedges recipe. And there is a recipe for friendship, which I'm going to read to you if you get bored, just fast forward. I just think it's adorable. But look at this little girl. Look at this little girl and it says, join me for a cup of friendship tea. I adore this. And I don't know, did, she, did you color this, Donna, or is that a punch out? Because some of you guys can color so good you can't tell. Okay, here's the recipe for friendship. Two cups patience, one heart full of love, two handfuls of generosity, dash of laughter, two cups of loyalty, one cup understanding, mix all ingredients well, sprinkle generously over a lifetime, and serve everyone you meet. Wouldn't it be a great world if we all did that? If every one of us did that, what a wonderful world we would live in. I adore this card. Not only that, the, on the back, which I'm not going to read to you. If you want me to, you tell me and I will make another video. But it's a crafter's Get prayer out. and I read it. Gina, I'm on the, I'm on the air. Shh. Um, if you want me to, then let me know and I will read it to you. It is the sweetest little prayer, and it's for crafters. And then look, handmade with love, especially for you. God bless YouTube Donna Gonzalez. But I will link her uh, channel down there, okay? So she gifted me this gorgeous card, which Donna, that would have been, that already made my day. That is just precious, so precious. And like I said, every little bag I opened, all these cute butterflies uh, came out. And then she made me this bag. You look at this little tiny fence. How adorable is that? And this she, uh, I'm sure she made this bag. This is a stamp and then she put glitter inside the blooms. And I'm regifting this. I'm so going to use this. These, these baggies are too cute, you know, not to reuse. So if you should get this bag, Donna. <laughs> Then you know I forgot that it was you who sent it to me, but I am reusing. These are too precious not to share. And this baggie she made me too, and I'll show you what was in the baggies. And look, so elegant, just black and then little glitter here and there. Very elegant, love it. And she closed the baggies with the little pins she made, and she even papered the pin herself. Isn't that precious? Look. Okay, 
So she gave me lots, lots of this peachy pink lace. I think it's a lace or a trim, and has and it looks to me like little tiny uh, hearts. So I am going to use this for Valentine's. That is super cute and so much, so so much. Thank you, sweet Donna. And the baggies had the pretty little doilies on top. You know how we close them with the pins. Oh, look at what she made me. And I said in the first video, I'm so going to put my glitter, the German glass glitter that I hardly use because, you know, it's just so precious. I hoard it a little bit. So <clears throat> I'm going to put my German glass glitter in there. Look at this beautiful Kobashan. It's just precious, is it not? Little tiny pearls. And look at this trim. It's gorgeous. And she gift. Oh, and then there's another one. Look at this. How adorable. And she put little tiny blings in there. Look. Cute, huh? I adore these bottles. And I'm glad you send plastic. Because I'm a little klutzy anyway, and I break glass. And the post office didn't break it. Which, by the way, I watched my postman from the window. He just shoved that big envelope. He folded it in half, Donna, and shoved it in my mailbox. And I ran out there. Well, I ran out there. You know what I mean, hobbled out there. And look, she made me those two little things. And I don't know. I'm debating whether when I'm getting into my card making, if I could should actually use them or if I should... You know, I don't want to hoard no more because I want to start using my stuff. But gosh, the things are so cute. How can you not hoard? Look at this one. Just adorable, Donna. I think Donna picked up on that. I like cutesy little things. Because <laughs> she sent me this cutesy little lace too. Look. I love it. So fine and delicate. I'm in love with it. Thank you, sweet Donna. You're fabulous. I mean, you didn't have to do all of this. I loved my card. I was so happy with the card. Look how cute. Love it, love, love, little tiny trim. And then she made me this pin. No, what is this? You know what this is. Look. Look how cute that is. She put a little lace behind there and then one of those acrylic flowers and a little tiny pearl. I love this. And I am a person that still reads books. I We have a Kindle, but I don't enjoy it. I have to have the smell and the feel of a book in my hand. So I will use that as a, you know, when you want to save your page. That's adorable. And then she sent me this. How adorable is this? This is an acrylic fan, plastic fan, and she papered the back and she put back there, let us be grateful to people who make us happy. They are the charming gardeners who make our souls blossom. And it's a quote from Marcel Proust. And she put this cardstock back there and then look at this gorgeous little trims she used and these little tiny pearls I don't think I could glue anything that tiny and then the little things here and I love this I think this is the Edwardian uh, era era I'm not sure if that's Victorian or Edwardian it looks Edwardian to me anyway so she gifted me this Oh, look at this little envelope, which I'm sad to say I tore it. I didn't try to tear it, but it, and it's full of little butterflies. Look, how sweet, how sweet. I love these. They are so adorable. I mean, you can spritz them and glimmer mist them, but I like that white and that little pinky peach look. It looks so pristine and... So I don't know if I will glimmer miss those white ones. And then she sent me two cutouts of, these are tags, and I love both colors, by the way. Really, really cute. 
and I can use them as templates after I cut them out for other tags. Thank you, Donna. And then she sent me these napkins. Can you imagine being there right now? It's 24 degrees outside. It's freezing. And look at this. Maison Blanc. Beautiful, beautiful, rich colors. And this has four images. Look at this. I love this. Isn't that fabulous? And it's funny that I should get these bar these two, uh, this rack today because today's the first day I've been in my uh, little studio because I have no mocho. And I did a little something. I'll show it to you later. You'll laugh. Just trying to get my mocho back, but it's not. Too oh, see, there is. See, there is more butterflies I need to get out. You see, it was full of butterflies. So adorable. What a great idea. Just little tiny happiness falling out of these. Okay, and look at this. Get out. My husband's in the back of me making fun of me. Get out, G. <laughs> Look at this gorgeous napkin. <gasps> and that reminds me, I should really start picking up my paintbrush again. I really need to, because I'm one of those, I'm not a good painter. I paint and I have to practice where other people just paint and they can do it. I'm not one of those. I have to practice. Thank you, Donna, for all of my goodies. Look at this rack she sent me and this gorgeous card. Look at this. I am over the moon, and you didn't have to do that, Donna, but I love you for it. I'm so learning how to make cards this year, and my glass glitter will go in this bottle. I love these bottles. I'm, I'm going to scrap lift this idea and make me some of these bottles. Oh, in plastic also. <clears throat> now, I won a $25 gift card from Elaine, and I forgot her channel. Uh, she's from Canada, I believe, but I will link her channel down there, of course. And with that $25 gift card, and my husband said I could, you know, order my Christmas. So with that $25 gift card from Elaine, thank you so, so much, Elaine. I bought me this from Art Attack. Yay, I got my little house. Although I know how to make houses now without a die, I had to have it. Come on. I had to have it. So I bought a little Magnolia house, and I'm in love with it. And I also ordered some two Magnolia um, stamps, Tilda Little Magnolia Girl stamps. But I did that order after this, so they haven't come in yet. But this is from Elaine, so thank you, thank you so much, Elaine. I can't wait to try it. And this is from my husband. I bought another one, a bigger one. Oh my God, I'm a bad girl. And then I bought this. This is volume number three. And I also bought volume number four or five. I don't know the number, but it's the Le Chardon one. But of course, there's no release date on there yet, so I don't know when I will be getting that. But this, and I know, I think you've all seen the magazine. I think um, uh, Amador has shown it, I think. And I'll show it, show you the dies. We'll just flip through it real quick. I haven't even looked through it myself yet. I mean, look, this is a, a notebook, but I could make this like the front of a card, right? So. I mean, I just got to, I just got to learn how to make cards. I think I'm overthinking it. My husband always says I overthink everything. Maybe I'm overthinking when I make cards because my cards are awful. So I just stop making them. God, is that cute? Oh, look at the strawberries. I adore. Oh, I made these a long time ago out of a heart punch. You see, it's just a heart punch. And then I put little black dots on it and this little greenery and then I glossy accented it. But I don't know if there is a, there might be a strawberry. I don't know what's the dice yet. I haven't looked at them yet. But look at this basket. It's like a little tiny sewing basket. Oh man. 
so pretty. So this is from my husband, plus the other magazine, plus the stamps that are coming. And here's the dies. They got a bird cage in there. Look at that. And I tell you the truth, I am so bad that I don't know what these dies are till I cut them out and look at them. I can't tell. I know this is a Eiffel Tower, and this is a lamp. And this is a border, and this is a fence. But some of these dies, I don't know what they are till after I cut them out. So, this is what I received today from my mailman. And now I'm going to show you. I told you I have not been in my craft room. I'm doing very well, by the way. All your well wishes, your prayers, your positive thoughts, they have worked. I've had surgery the 20, no, the 10th of December. And it was a full knee replacement. And I'm already walking around and everything. Yes, there is pain. Yes, it's uncomfortable. But you know, hey, life is good. I'm walking around. And that's what counts, right? So thank you so much for all your well wishes and prayers and positive thoughts. I know that's why I healed so fast. My surgeon said, boy, you're a fast healer. And uh, I'm not supposed to be a bad, I mean, a fast healer because... I'm a smoker, and it's very bad, I know, I know, but uh, I tried to go on the electronic cigarettes to get off the other ones, but anyway, and you know smokers are not fast healers, well, guess what, I am a very fast healer, so it's, I know, it's because of you guys, prayers, positive thoughts, and thinking of me, uh, it's just awesome, just awesome, thank you guys so, so much. So now I'm going to show you my utter fails. <laughs> Everybody's getting into the gold and silver thing, right? Well, I'm not going out shopping yet. I mean, I can shop on the internet, you know, but I'm not going out shopping because I still feel dizzy. Which I was dizzy before the surgery, I think, too. But anyway, I'm not going out shopping. <clears throat> so I do what I have in the house. So I try to make gold and silver leaves. Okay. You're allowed to laugh. This is my silver looking leaf. This is another silver looking leaf. And this is, but you know what? It's okay because I was trying to get my mojo back. And if it doesn't work, it didn't, it doesn't, it, it didn't work obviously. But it's okay because you know what? It kept me occupied. And it was the first time that I played since before the 10th. So I'm, you know, I'm. There are nothing nice to use, but I did something. I didn't waste my day. Well, I don't waste my day because I have to do physical therapy every day. But, you know, it, it wasn't a, t a total waste. And then I tried to make pink ones, of course, you know. But, yeah, it didn't work. But it's okay because I had fun anyway. And I'll do anything to get my mocho back. So, thank you guys for hanging in there with me. Thank you, Donna Gonzalez. Thank you so much, sweetie. I adore your card and all your little gifts to me. I adore it. Thank you, Elaine, for this. And thank you, Jean Martinez, my hubby, for this. But I'm getting more from Jean Martinez, okay? That's not all. So, you all have a great night. Thanks to all of my subscribers. Thanks for all your well wishes. I want everybody that I haven't uh, written to in a comment or something, I want to wish everybody a very blessed, healthy, and happy New Year. Let's show compassion and kindness to everyone. And we live in a better world. It's that easy. It doesn't cost anything and it doesn't hurt anybody. And it is so easy to give a smile and just be kind. So I want to wish you all a good night and thank you. And I'll talk to you when I actually made something, okay? Okay, bye-bye for now. <laughs>